X Viking axe. It's got a maple handle. And we fitted it with uh, a couple of these things called conchos. Uh, originally from Mexico. They're used in saddlery and leather work. And uh, I found them on eBay. These are Celtic. And uh, I was able to drill a hole, put them on both sides. That one. This one is a Celtic cross. The other axe we're, we finished up recently was this uh, Tabar. I think it turned out pretty good. We wanted it to look like something that was dragged out of a rubble uh, after battle. And, and uh, it's got a wooden handle. Now, typically they usually have metal handles, but this one's uh, oak. Uh, it's been worn to make it look old and medieval. Today's competition then is between the Tabar and the Viking Axe and how they will hold up and perform against the evil and malicious coconut horde led by the evil wax turnip. So this is the first battle. First up is the Viking Axe. Take two. Well done! Ooh. One tier. <laughs> that worked. Let me split. We split this poor chap right in half. Well, the final chapter here is to attack the leader. Uh, we want to go after the uh, wax turnip and see how things work against the. Uh, well, let's try the Tibor again. Okay, the final round against its leader, the waxed turnip. I believe this was a successful round where we've uh, chopped off his head, gave him a buzz haircut, cut. a buzz cut. <laughs> ah, victory! Ain't done with the commander yet. Oh. Mercy. Mercy. No, no mercy. No mercy. No mercy for the horn. Any thoughts? Oh. Total <laughs> failure. Maybe that's what they had, um, metal. Metal, that's why one metal handles. It's <laughs> breakage. Uh, don't uh, worry, nothing duct tape can't fix. You know what? It's because the head's so heavy. Uh, I'm done with that axe. Hmm. Okay, another one. We'll try the Viking axe. 